guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today I'm bringing you something useful. So I've had some companies reach out to me and send me some filament for various reasons and occasionally they'll send me filament um, that is just like a sample pack of filament. It's not on a spool or anything like that um, and it's just a very small amount and I found that it's difficult to print with that. I've seen some people just put, it, put them on existing rolls of filament that they have um, and I've seen some people even use cardboard and stuff like that. I've never had much luck with those. Um, the spools that I have are too big to fit the filament around, so I have to like kind of rewrap it. it. It doesn't work well at all. So I have a problem. And as you guys should know by now, if you have a 3D printer, problems are a thing of the past. So I made a sample filament holder. Now this is an extremely simple design. I made it in Fusion 360. It's just basically um, a couple of squished cylinders. That's really all it is. I created it with a sketch and I do actually have two versions of this available. Um, this one is the smaller version. In this one you pretty much can just slide the filament over the top of this. Um, I do include a bigger version of it. These outer cylinders are protruded quite a bit more to about the normal size of a spool holder um, if that is important to you. But I found that the small one works pretty great because the filament hangs in there. It doesn't ever try to go anywhere um, in my experience. But my goal with this was to make it really easy to take apart because a lot of times the simplest way to do something is just to slide the sample filament on there. So I just made this pressure fit. It's printed in two pieces and it just slides apart like that. So you print both of these like this and then um, this inner cylinder is just a little bit smaller than this one. So um, push them together and they stay together really well. Now all you have to do is take your sample filament, put it on there, close that up and it's ready to go. You can slide it on your existing uh, spool holder and then you are good to go. Now something like this probably exists out there. I looked briefly on Thingiverse, couldn't find anything. so. I just thought I'd make my own. And I'll share it with you guys just in case you've been looking for something similar. Alright guys, well this was nothing exciting, no paint or anything like that, um, just because it was just such a functional print. But honestly, this is the true power of 3D printers. I had a problem, I fixed it. And it wasn't very hard to do, it only took me a few minutes to model this. So, Okay guys, well I hope you found this useful. As always, links are down in the description. If you thought this video was cool, make sure you give it a thumbs up and get subscribed. I put out new modeling videos every week. And then that's all for me guys. I'll see you next time.